Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll show you how to fix the no signal issue on your PC. Now this may apply to laptops as well as desktop computers. So of course if you're connected to a monitor or a TV and you're getting the no signal issue, this tutorial will guide you through um, how to fix that issue. This is an updated tutorial to my previous video which has gotten pretty old now so of course this will be the updated edition that will bear in mind laptops as well as other um, devices you can apply this in general to any device okay so let me explain the issue the issue where you see no signal it indicates that the tv is not receiving a signal from any source um, the look of this particular error will vary from device to device so for example, you might get this error on just about any device. It could be a PlayStation as well. But of course, um, as I said, this is a tutorial that can be applied in general or of course the laptops. So if you're seeing this no signal issue, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot the problem and I'll guide you through the process. All right guys, so you notice it says HDMI one. So you're gonna first locate your HDMI cable in that case this is my hdmi cable and as you can see here it's connected um, to the monitor to the tv and as i said that the error itself might look a little bit different but it should say no signal or no display all right so first thing i'm gonna do is to make sure that we are actually connected to hdmi one so i have a laptop and of course i'll power up the laptop so as you can see here this is my asus vivo book and what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate my HDMI port. So I'm going to plug this in. So make sure that the device is actually plugged in to the main device that you want to connect to your TV. So it might be a case where it's unplugged and I want to pay close attention here. Now sometimes you'll um, plug these in and what might happen is that you didn't put this all the way in. So if you're seeing a gap between here it means that it's not fully plugged in. So this is a common issue where sometimes I'll make the issue where I plug them in and I don't plug them in all the way. So make sure that it's all the way in. So you may want to um, shove against that and make sure it's all the way in. All right, so that's the first thing. Make sure your cables are snug and all the way in. Second, make sure that it's on HDMI 1. So as you're seeing here, this laptop should be on HDMI 1. Notice I've plugged it in and there's nothing on the display. Also make sure that the back of your TV that it's plugged all the way in and sometimes what happens is that you're on the wrong source so what I want you to do is you're gonna get your remote um, in some cases you're gonna search for this button here which is the source button so of course the source button looks like this you're gonna tap on it and notice it shows the source on the TV now on this particular TV I have three HDMI ports so the idea is to find which port the laptop or gaming console or whatever is connected to. So we are on one. So I'm going to search. So one, it might be on the wrong input. So I'm going to change inputs. So I'm going to change to HDMI 2. Notice it says searching. All right. All right. So it still says no signal. So I'm going to try three. So the idea here is that it should be able to find your device on one of these sources. Now give the TV time to search through the source and once it search through the source, it should be able to find, um, find the device. So I'm going to check to make sure it's on the right source. So I'm on two. So I'm going to check three. As you can see, it's searching for a signal on three. All right, so it still says no signal. So in most cases, you're gonna check all your sources to make sure you're on the right HDMI source. If that fails, what you're gonna do is to check your cable. So in some cases, the cable itself is bad. And um, of course, you'll have to change the cable. So if you have an extra cable, go ahead and switch this cable out. And of course, make sure that during the process that your device is um, woken up or in other words make sure that the device actually is working all right so if you try all of those and those fail the key thing next to do is to go ahead and 
all right so the other thing is to make sure that the device is awake so you saw just now the device was asleep like this make sure the device is woken up you can press any key so for it to connect to the source you'll have to make sure that the device is awoken so if the device is not um, fully up what's gonna happen is that the device will not work even if it's on the right um, HDMI port so I'm gonna switch now that the device is up and I'm gonna switch to one and there you go notice that we are powered up I'm gonna log in Start. all right so as you can see here we're up and as you can see we are fully working so HDMI one was the um, port that it was connected to. You can also try at the back of the device to switch ports while it's connected. So I could try between HDMI 1, 2, and 3. But the key thing is to make sure that the device is awoken. You can do that most cases by making sure you're logged in. Another thing you can do, guys, is to use the shortcut keys. Sometimes, if it's not a case of the port, sometimes the, the device doesn't know what to do with your source. So what you can do is to press um, Windows key and P so you're gonna find Windows key and you're gonna press P all right so when you press Windows key and P you notice as well as well it says here second screen only you're gonna select the right um, projection setting so you see I'm on second screen only and it shows that it will use the second screen without using the primary key screen I can also navigate I can say PC only or I can say duplicate or extend um, by default it's on duplicate meaning that both devices will show the same thing so I'm gonna switch back to duplicate so as you can see here we're on duplicate and duplicate will simply do that so it's control um, sorry it's Windows key and P so that's Windows key and P that will do that all right so if you do that you are no signal issue should disappear in most cases all right, so works for laptops and PC. Same would be if you're using a gaming monitor or if you're using a desktop with a monitor or, of course, with a TV. All right, so those are the main things that you'll try. Um, here are some other things that you can try. All right, guys, another thing that you must try as well is that if your device is underpowered, you might have issues, especially for a laptop. So what I suggest is that you go ahead and you get your power source to make sure that the source is powered so you're going to make sure that you um, plug in your device which is like your laptop so go ahead and find the um, charge port and make sure that you power your device by um, plugging it in and in most cases what will happen Pause. all right so make sure that your device is plugged in once it's plugged in it should be powered and once it's powered you should be able to run your HDMI port so that's a key thing to actually make sure that your device is working fine so make sure that your device is powered so that's the um, one of the main considerations um, um, next thing as I was pointing out as well make sure that your source device that's powering the HDMI port is on it might sound trivial but of course it needs to be on so make sure that your device is on and powered if it's not on as I was showing you earlier, it can cause a problem, so make sure that's not a problem there. Another thing to bear in mind, also, if this is some form of um, desktop computer, you may want to check your graphics card to make sure that your graphics card is working, so you may want to switch to onboard graphics if it's a laptop, sorry, if it's a desktop, and to make sure that your graphics card is actually working through the ports or use the um, built-in HDMI port on your device or VG or whatever it is you may also want to make sure that your CMOS if it's a desktop you may want to clear the CMOS to make sure that working that's working or if there's a power supply on your device you may want to switch out the power card sometimes power cards do go bad and if it's a case where your device doesn't have a display like a laptop if it were a desktop or a PlayStation or something it might be an issue where you're not powered on um, a key way to know if your device is powered on is to check for the lights at the side I'm not going to show that right now and to make sure it's on the laptop make it easier because it has a display So I know it when it's on but you can see in cases as well When you extend displays that this might be off and this, um, the, the the main monitor might be um, The main monitor might show something and the laptop might show nothing so do bear that in mind as well when you're working with these situations as that can affect um, this. 
Now, another thing sometimes I find is that sometimes the software itself that manages the display to bring this display up here is not working and that is no fault of um, either device. It just might be a software glitch. So what I suggest if nothing is working, you're sure you're on the right port, like if you're using HDMI port one, I suggest that you power off your TV or power cycle the TV and also um, totally power cycle the laptop as well. Sometimes you'll need to reboot both and in rebooting both, it will start to work as well as rebooting your TV. All right guys, so this is a case um, showing you how to fix the issue of no signal on your devices where you might be unable to connect. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. I'll help you with direct comments with your situations as well. And as always, Ricardo from Black Tech Tips. And bye until next time. Bye.